Nearby, the facade of the cathedral provides quite a contrast. Built in the 18th century, it was inspired by the great Baroque churches of Rome, but amped up with a Sicilian architectural razzle-dazzle. The apostles Peter and Paul greet you at street level, while Mary blesses all from above. Stepping inside, you see the church is a lot like Sicily itself, a layer cake of civilizations. It was built into an ancient Greek temple. The temple's 2,500-year-old colonnade survives as part of the church's walls. And because a pagan temple had no transepts, neither does this church. The fine workmanship of the capitals survives from ancient times. In Sicily, you hear the same basic story of the parade of civilizations over and over. Ancient temple, church, mosque, church. Here in Syracuse, this was originally a Greek temple built to honor Athena. Then, a thousand years later, with Byzantine rule, the temple was made into a church. Next, in the ninth century, the Arabs sweep in from just over there in North Africa. Christians out, Muslims in, and it became a mosque. Then, it's a church again, as the Normans from France conquer Sicily in the 11th century. After a huge earthquake hit in 1693, the the cathedral was rebuilt in today's supercharged Baroque style. Phew! The Cathedral Square, or Piazza Duomo, is a mishmash of architectural styles. It serves as a delightful stage upon which the story of this community plays out. Its graceful semicircular design is a Baroque trick designed to give the feeling that this is a theater for life in this community. It's the gathering place of the town, a magnet for all generations.